Hello everyone. In the previous video, we made a call to the Northwind O data service and retrieved the data using the SAP Cloud SDK. Uh, this can also be accomplished uh, using Axios, uh, but we use the SAP Cloud SDK. Uh, the SAP Cloud SDK provides the benefit of uh, abstracting the destination information. Uh, so we saw how we can, instead of uh, providing the URL uh, right in the code right here, just like this, uh, we can simply use the destination destination name and this destination is actually uh uh, is uh, defined in SAP BTP. We saw how we can do this in SAP BTP. And now the SAP Cloud SDK uh, shines uh, because it's now able to retrieve the data from the SAP D BTP destination and then make the call on your behalf. And this was a read operation. And the same thing can be accomplished for a write operation as well uh, because it's the same principle right here. Uh, so in the next branch, so I've uh, gone to branch uh, three uh, so I have a function import that says add Northwind product and you can see here again I have the URL again this can be accomplished if you're going to write code like this uh, this can be done using Axios itself uh, I mean here we are using the SAP Cloud SDK uh, so if I run this uh, thing right here CDS watch uh, we will be able to submit a request and this should add a product to the Northwind database so if I go into request.http uh, you can see I have uh, the post uh, the payload here in my uh, in the body of the message, I can hit send, and this is uh, going to go ahead and add this and then uh, return this as uh, the response. Uh, now, uh, again, uh, if we want to actually make full use of the Cloud SDK, uh, then what you would do is you would just provide the destination name instead of the URL like this, uh, because this abstracts the destination. Uh, this destination we saw is uh, defined in SAP Cloud SDK. Uh, so now uh, we can go ahead and run this in hybrid mode. Uh, so we can run uh, CDS uh, watch uh, dash dash uh, profile hybrid. And when we run this in hybrid mode, uh, it's going to use the destination service. And then the destination service is going to be able to read this destination, uh, get all the technical info about the target system, and then make the same call. So make the same post call and then get the data. So if I run this now, let's go ahead and run this. Uh, so this is no different from the read operation that we saw in session one. Uh, I'm just uh, showing you that we can do the same thing for any kind of operation. Uh, so the main thing is uh, retrieving the destination information. Uh, so now if I go into my request and if I go ahead and run this uh, uh, request, uh, then I should be able to get the same uh, same thing back again. Uh, so it's uh, it's gotten the same thing back again. So if I run it one more time, uh, you can see that it's getting the same uh, data back again. Okay, thanks. I'll see you in the next session. In the next session, we will look at batch operation. Thank you.